everyone, Lauren Messiah, your personal fashion stylist here, and it's time for a fashion question. This one is awesome, as are all of them. Hi Lauren, how is a leather jacket supposed to fit? Some people believe it's only meant to be worn for style, and so it doesn't matter if it's too tight to zip up. Others say you should be able to zip it up and use it as outerwear. Can you help? I'm afraid of investing in something that won't look right on me. Thanks for all your great videos. You are so welcome. Thank you for your great question. I love this question because you hit so many important points, especially when it comes to purchasing an investment piece. One, the fit. So many people forget about fit. They're like, if I can get it on, if I could get it you know, closed, then it fits. Uh, you know, People don't pay attention, but fit is what makes me look good. And I also like how you brought up the point of investing in your wardrobe. That's like music to my ears. Especially when you're getting a leather jacket, you will be spending a pretty penny on the jacket. So you want it to be quality, you want it to fit right, and I just love how you're being so smart about this purchase. Everyone should be thinking through big investment purchases just like this. So. Go you! All right, so let's touch on a couple different things and I'm actually gonna walk you through a few different leather jackets that I have to show you exactly how they are supposed to fit. The first jacket is a great jacket if you want quality and you want fit, but you're not about to break the bank severely. <laughs> I have two main leather jackets that I switch off between. This one that's Balenciaga, and I've got another one that fits a little bit looser. That is Pierre Balmain. Both of those are bank, not gonna lie. <laughs> but the jacket I'm gonna demonstrate the fit on is from J. Crew. It's from their collection, so it's a little higher price point than like a normal J. Crew jacket, but it's well made, it's beautiful, the fit is perfect. So we're gonna hop on over and I'm gonna show you how it's done. So let's talk about how exactly a leather jacket should fit because there's a lot of, you know, people have different opinions on it. Some people are like, it needs to be able to zip closed comfortably. Some people are like, I'm never gonna wear it closed. I'm always gonna wear it open. So it should fit well that way. But there are some fundamental things that you need to look for in the fit of a leather jacket and the rest, you know, we can kind of figure it out from there. One is the shoulders. Your jacket must fit properly in the shoulders or else we're just, we're entering crazy town. It's not gonna be flattering. So you want the shoulder seam to hit right where your shoulder is. If the seam is hitting too far in, it's definitely too small. And if it's hitting too far out, it's too big and it's gonna be droopy, it's gonna be weird. So like with my leather jacket, right here, seam is right where my shoulder is. Not too big, not too small. You also really wanna look at the arm. If the arm is like squeezing the daylights out of you and you can't actually wear something underneath it, then that's too small. If it's too big and too baggy, then it starts looking like a man's jacket, which if that's the look that you want, like make sure everything's deliberate, but too small is always a horrendous idea. So something that just fits enough that you could put a shirt underneath. If this is a jacket where you want to wear sweaters and things, then sure, you could go a little bit bigger. For me personally, I have two classic black leather jackets. This one, which fits a little bit tighter, and I would wear this with tank tops, with dresses, with t-shirts, and then I have one that's a lot bigger, bigger in the arms, just overall bigger in the body, and I could wear that in the winter underneath a sweater or multiple layers, but too tight is never a good idea. So definitely look at that. Um, you also wanna look at where it hits at the wrist. I, again, I prefer things a teensy bit longer, so right like hitting above my thumb. Too short, like that's not a good look. And then too long, like it looks like you're borrowing your boyfriend's jacket, which, you know, may or, not, may or may not be your look, but I like it right, you know, at the base of your thumb, covering up your wrist. Um, I always like something that's got a zipper, that gives you more room to style it, gives you more 
Um, gives you a better fit because you can loosen it up to get it on. So you could do something a little tighter at the wrist. So moving on, so that's the arm. Like this region here is what's really gonna tell us that this is a nice fitting, well-made jacket. Shoulder, width of the arm, length in the sleeve. Now here's where we get a little bit into the debate on whether or not you should be able to zip up your jacket. Now, I personally would never wear this jacket all the way zipped up, ever. Can I zip it up? Yes. <laughs> would I be comfortable? Probably not, but it should be able to zip, <laughs> okay? Doesn't mean you need to wear it comfortably zipped, but you should be able. And that's gonna give you a better idea if it actually fits across the body. So, you know, I got my little mannequin here. We can zip this and it fits her, but it's still gonna look good when it's a little bit open. Now again, this goes back to my point of me having two jackets, one more for spring or for lighter things underneath and one, you know, a little bit bigger for thicker things underneath. The one that's thicker, I can definitely zip it and I would be very comfortable wearing it that way. It looks totally stupid, so I never would, but that zips comfortably. This one, you know, I might wanna suck in a teensy bit, and I might look like a stuffed sausage if I stuff, zip it all the way up, but it looks better open like this. So you do want it to be able to zip close, but it doesn't have to be like the perfect fit if it's closed, because you're never gonna wear it closed, okay? Um, and then, just swing this around, you know, obviously if it fits in the shoulders, then it's gonna be fine across the back. It's not gonna be pulling. Um, the length of the jacket, I like it right above my hips. Um, you know, depending on the cut, it could be, actually mine's about an inch, an inch below, which I feel is fine. Um, nothing too long, unless it's a cropped jacket, nothing too short, but yeah, like, Here's homegirl's hips. Yeah, it's hitting right at her hips. So this is a really, a really nice fit. Um, yeah, that's that one. So this next jacket, this one fits a little bit bigger. It would be considered my outerwear leather jacket as you spoke to in your question. This is my other black leather jacket. Let's see, we're got a little team going here. This is the one that fits a little bit bigger, that's a little bit baggier. Um, it gives me a different look, but overall it still has the proper fit. It's a little bit more relaxed, the sleeve's a little bit bigger, the shoulder is like a tiny, tiny bit past, like here's where the natural shoulder hits, and then this is where the seam is, so it's a little teeny bit big, but I'm able to wear something thicker underneath, so it's actually gonna pull that out and make that fit a little bit better. But if you were gonna wear this just with a t-shirt or a tank top, you can see how this fit is not perfect. There's the shoulder, the seam is all the way down here, um, you know, the arm's a little bit big. If I zip it closed, it's actually not too bad there, not too bad. Um, but those, that's just something to look out for. But again, with what I'm wearing, this, this will be fine. Spin it around, decent length. Um, it's a good quality jacket. I'm a big fan of this one. And finally, I wanna show you a jacket mistake that I made. Lauren doesn't hit it out of the park every single time. This one was a little bit of a fail. One thing I do wanna make sure that you are aware of is the fact that a leather jacket is an investment piece. So it might hurt to pony up some real cash to get a good one, but it's so worth it. So the one that I have on right now is Balenciaga. Big investment, big investment, but totally worth it. The black one that I have for winter is Pierre Balmain. Again, pretty darn pricey. Now the blue one that I showed is from J. Crew from their collection. So that is like a good mid-range, but it's still made of really good material and it's really well made. So if you're not ready to like drop Balenciaga money, that's a good option. 
so one of the mistakes that I made was getting a leather jacket that wasn't investment quality. This one here from Topshop is my leather jacket mistake. Don't get me wrong, I love Topshop. Great place to incorporate trend pieces and just like little fun things. But a, le a white leather jacket is something that I wanted to wear often. So I really should have ponied up the cash to get a good one. Now, fit wise, it's hitting all the marks. You know, like the shoulder seems right, you know, the width of the sleeve is right. But then we get into some little weird things like the length of the sleeve, not perfect. Um, the leather, way too hard. And it just didn't look like it fit. You know, it's one of those things where you, you take it off the rack, it's your size, you put it on, you're like, oh, this fits, I'll just break it in. It's not fitting like this buttery piece of, you know, beauty. Um, I needed to invest in something like this. So I do want you to be aware of the fact that it's gonna hurt, but it's well worth the spend. So if you can't go super high end, find something on sale. Um, that Balmain jacket, I found it at Century 21 in New York at a major discount. The J. Crew one, totally affordable, beautiful quality. Love, love, love that jacket. This one, I would definitely skip. Um, so look for, when you're looking for fit, leather that moves, this stuff is just like hard as a rock. Hardware that looks quality, this doesn't look, this doesn't look quality, it's already like tarnished and I literally have never worn this out of the house. So quality, quality, quality. So I hope that helped you on your quest for the perfect leather jacket. I'd love for you to go back and watch my other video where I talked about how to get leather jackets at different price points. I share all of the brands with you that work no matter what your budget is so you don't end up making some leather jacket mistakes. So definitely check that out. Thank you so much for your question. Speaking of questions, if you have a fashion question for me, ask me. Drop it below in the comment section and I will do my very best to answer it right here on video. Speaking of videos, putting out new ones three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a single video and I'll catch you on the next one.